So we've introduced some formal notation for uh, what we're calling differentiation, this dy by dx. And for a straight line graph, it's quite straightforward to identify the gradient of that line because the gradient of the line is unchanging. But when we move on to curves, so here's y is equal to x squared, for example, you can see that the gradient of the curve changes depending on where you are. Now, what I mean by that is that if I look at the gradient at that point there, so if I drew a tangent line, OK, that would be the gradient at that point. That would be the steepness of the curve. But when I move slightly further up the curve, so about here, you can see that the gradient has changed. It's now steeper. OK, so as I'm travelling up this curve, the gradient is getting steeper and steeper and steeper. So the gradient of the curve depends on where you are along the x-axis. Because if I choose a point there, or there, or there, you can see that the gradient is increasing at each point. So when we write down dy by dx, what we will refer to as the gradient function, or the rate of change, this will have to involve an x because the gradient is changing with regards to x. And it's being changed by the fact that there is this x inside the formula. So in other words, we will have this dy by dx is equal to something which will have an x in it. OK? And it will change. If I choose x to be 2 or 3 or minus 5, the gradient will change. So this is what I would refer to as the gradient function or the first derivative. OK, it's, it's also called that, the first derivative. OK, um, and you could also refer to it as the rate at which y is changing with respect to x, so like the rate of change. So part of the confusing thing with uh, learning differentiation is there's, lo there's loads of names for it. And no, there's also different notation as well. So d, there's dy by dx equals um, if you start with a y. So if you know that y is equal to x squared, then dy by dx will be written as something. And also, if you write it instead as in function notation, so if you say that the function is x squared, then the first derivative is written as f prime of x. So these two things here are synonymous. They mean the same thing. It's just alternative notation for the same thing. Now, why is there alternative notation? Well, the reason for that is that differentiation and calculus um, was invented at pretty much the same time uh, by two different people, by two or three different people. And subsequently, they both used different notation. And uh, the way that maths has adopted it over time is that both of them have filtered through, um, and neither has really gone. So we use them, uh, use them both. So what I want to do is know now, how do I get this? OK, how do I get this first derivative? How do we actually calculate it? Well, there is, as I explained in the previous video, there are some mechanics working behind the background, uh, or in the background, sorry, um, that explain how you get from this to this. And it's known as differentiation from first principles. And we will look at it, but we're not gonna, going to look at it immediately. We're going to wait until later. So really, what I want to do is explain how do we get from x to the n to dy by dx, or f prime. 
because there is a general way to do this. And there is a pattern that comes from it where the N comes down to the front and you take one from the power. Okay? That's how you differentiate. You t bring the power down to the front and take one off the power. So if we've got y is equal to x squared, we bring the power down to the front and take one off the power. So the derivative, the first derivative of y is equal to x squared is 2x. Okay? And likewise, if we had y is equal to x cubed, then dy by dx, the power comes down to the front and you take one off the power. Okay? And it is this process that we're going to practice in the next video.